All right, so we're going to go through uh, number two here on our assignment. Now, it does have all these pieces of information that it's asking for, but again, guys, I want you guys to just make a table that goes along with this. So, if this is going to be number one, you guys can label these right now real quick. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera. And then... I'm going to like say leave some room here for part for number one. You can have room for your VIR table. There are one, two resistors, and then we need one for total. And then you can do the excess, or the excess work over here, but for number two, which is the one we're going to look at. Okay, we're making our VIR table. There are one, two resistors, so we're going to make one, two rows, and then we need a third one for the total. All right. So first thing that we want to do is put in all of our given information. You, you go for it. Huh? You can tell me. Um, are you doing number one or two? For right now we're doing two. Okay. Hey, bud. What's up? What information are we given? Let's see if you can tell me that. You don't know. Okay. No, I don't know what it's called. What? R1? Hmm? R1. We're in number two, right? So what is the number next to R1? All right. So we got 20, and that thing is called ohms. R2 is also 20. No, RT cannot be 40 because this is a parallel. So if we're looking at a parallel circuit, we have to use the parallel rules, which were these ones up here. So to find res total resistance, you would have to add the reciprocals of them and then take the reciprocal of that answer. It's a pain in the butt. But that's why we're looking at number two first because I think this is the one that has that. And we're only given one other piece of information in the circuit. We're given 4A. But what is that 4A referring to? Okay, so again, before, before the current gets to this circle, all right, you have full amounts of current. You have the full amount of current here. But once it gets to that circle, it can take two different paths. It can take the path, first path, all right, but through resistor one, or it can take the second path through resistor two. And both those currents could be the same, they could be they could be different. We don't we don't know yet. Okay. So where's the mouse here? Excuse me. Before it gets to that that point where it could split, we have the total. So this 4A is gonna go for the current total, IT. And that's all the information that we have. All right, well, that seems to be a little bit of a problem because um, I don't have two of the three missing. I don't have two of the three in any of these rows right now where I can use Ohm's Law triangle like we did in the example problem. So that means I got to rely on one of the rules here. I can't just add these currents together because I don't know what they are yet. And uh, the voltages are all the same, but I don't have a voltage, so I can't do that yet. So the only thing I'm left with is here. So the first thing that you're going to wind up doing is you're going to have to use that equation, 1 over RT. It 
is going to be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. There's no other resistor, so we're going to do it like that. So in your calculators, we're going to do 1 divided by 20 plus 1 divided by 20. That's going to equal 1 divided by whatever that answer is because we have to take the reciprocal. So I always set it up like that. 1 divided by 20 plus 1 divided by 20. 0, or 0 0.1. Okay, that's great. 1 divided by that answer, and boom, great, awesome, we get 10 ohms. So 10 ohms, we actually had to do math for. So that is going to go right here. <clears throat> okay, so now we have two of the three, right? So if once we have two of the three, we can use the triangle. Wait, wait, can't four A be all the I's? Oh, is it the other triangle? That's in a series, all the I's are the same, but in parallel, they're 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 all different. In parallel, all the voltages are going to be the same. So now we have two of the three in the total column. So if we want V, you're just going to do IT times RT. IT is 4, so you're going to do 4, and RT was 10. So we get a total of 40 volts. Now that 40 volts would go here and according to the rules all the voltages are the same so yes we did the math for that one but now the rest are 40 volts as well and I'm just underlining them with pink because basically those were just based off of the rule itself not any math that you did all right bet now it's cake all right again now we have two of the three for the missing. So if I want I, one, I cover up I. So I have to do V1 divided by R1, which is just 40 over 20, which is 2 amps. And then I2 would be V2 over R2, which would be 40 over 20 again, which is also 2 amps. And the rule for the rule for current, okay, the sum of all the currents have to add up to equal the total. Two plus two equals four, so we are all good. So that is your example, all right? So for number two, this is again, this was the circuit for number two. And then this was the work and kind of solution, all right? REQ is stands for equivalent resistance. It's it's the same thing as RT. So if you want on these, you can crawl like scribble out REQ and just make it RT because they're going to be the, the same the same thing. All right. Uh, what is what is your question, bud? How do I get 10? So everything that was in pencil that has no highlighter near it, those were given in that in the circuit diagram. You're only given one of the or given two resistors and a total current. So we didn't have enough information to do anything with the triangles, so you had to go to your rules. All right, we couldn't do anything with I because we didn't know what those were. We didn't have any of the V's, so we couldn't make them all equal to each other, so you had to use this. Since you had all the resistors, 20 and 20, you're going to then use the equation 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus how, however many resistors there are. When you do that, right, you're going to set it equal to 1 divided by, type that into your calculator. Whatever the answer comes out to be, that's going to go underneath. And so 1 over 20 
plus 1 divided by 20 came out to be 0.1, and you have to take the inverse of that, not the, not the 0 0.1. So I have to do 1 divided by second answer, and that's where the 10 came from. Anybody else have a question right now? REQ is RT. Anybody else? Question? Okay.